Back with you for an update on the severe weather and the tornado outbreak affecting parts of the greater Dallas and Fort Worth Metroplex. I uh, want to give you an update on the tornadoes that have uh, touched down in parts of uh, near Bono and back into Hood, Texas. According to uh, reports we're hearing uh, via scanner uh, that uh, there are reports of, of course, multiple injuries, homes that could have been de absolutely destroyed in uh, Hood, Texas. And this cell continues to move its way with a possible large wedge tornado moving towards the city of uh, Bono and also very, very close to the areas around Claiborne. Now, the Claiborne area is a much, much larger population area uh, south of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And unfortunately, if it does move through that area and still contains this very violent tornado, uh, there would definitely be some significant, significant uh, loss of either life or potentially uh, home structures as well. Take a look. This is using the velocity couplet here, and there's the city of Claiborne. Here's Bono. Right at this time, the tornadic winds passing through Bono and headed just off to the areas south of Claiborne. Greatest population density in most homes in Claiborne, right over the city center, but there is a sporadic amount of homes scattered to the south, so uh, this is a dangerous and deadly situation here, folks, south of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I'll take you back to the north. I'll take a look at our classic hook echo here. Back to the southwest of Grand Prairie, Texas. This cell with a very evident hook echo. This continues to have strong rotation. National Weather Service sharing that uh, rotation seems to be increasing, and it's a high likelihood that this cell certainly could go on to produce possibly a reef tornado uh, near Florence Hill, would move then towards uh, the areas around Duncanville, and uh, pretty close to the uh, areas around the interstate uh, passing through Florence Hill and the greater Duncanville area. So three supercell thunderstorms still impacting the weather across the greater Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex here uh, within the next couple of hours. Worst news is we're not done. More up here to the west and northwest, so it's going to be very active for several more hours. There's the reports of tornadoes so far. The earlier ones were near Sunset, Texas, and now, of course, the latest being near Hood. Texas. Stay safe and keep it here on Weather Nation TV.